smoking gas, I feel like I cute. Oh, feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute. I feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute. Yeah, I feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute. Yeah, I feel like I cute. I'm sipping that red solo like I cute. Yeah, I got all these bitches. So if somebody gets arrested and gets in trouble, and they want a deal, law enforcement officers are all too eager to say. Well, tell us about Mr. Williams. Is he involved in this? What do you know about him? That's the problem with this case. It's, it's coming from the word of people who are getting deals to say, yeah, he, he was there, or I saw him around, or he gave the order, or I heard from someone else he gave the order. That's what this case is about. Mm. You're not going to hear any confession of Jeffrey Williams. Mm. So every time there is a potential link to anything, his name comes up. When you target a human being who's so well known, and you make it so easy for the other person to say, "Oh, you mean I could be released from this this location that I don't want to be?" All I have to say is, "I know something about Jeffrey Williams." That's pretty scary. Damn, ain't no way, ain't no fucking way. Um, I'm gonna tell you one thing. At least. Uh, Young Thug's lawyer, Brian Steele, is riding for him on docu- How did he even got a documentary out about Young Thug case and all this? And the case not even over with, right? If y'all didn't know that last excerpt that I just played came from a documentary called, uh, I think it's called Jeffrey. I think it's called. It's like some shit that Eleven News put together, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um... I don't know, bro. Niggas putting documentaries out like a nigga that already died or went to jail forever. That shit got me kind of like, what the fuck? Is y'all already planning this? Is this, why is it like, it's a sad, it's just a sad sight, bro. I ain't gonna care, bro. It's a sad sight. I don't care. It ain't, it's a sad sight, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I, like I always say, bro. I don't know if I always say that, but I've said it before. I never would have even guessed that we'd be seeing a documentary and Rico K. Like this shit is different, bro. This shit is a it hit a little different, you know. Um, I don't know, my nigga. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think about the lawyer. I mean, you heard what he's saying. He's he's calling out the snitches, bro. He's calling out the fucking snitches, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you got your lawyer calling the snitches or your lawyer taking upon yourself to kind of subliminally sub the snitches or the quote unquote people that want to take deals or whatever you want to call them, it's just not looking good, bro. It's it's getting messier and messier. It's too many. It's like, it's too messy, bro. But I mean, y'all let me know. Is, is it going to be a good resolution at the end? Do you think Young Thug is going to get out from this or he's going to do like five years, two years, three years or... Is it gonna be worse? Y'all let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, don't forget to spell I'm going. Yeah. Camera music, camera music. I did my time, just like a man. I came home, stuck to the plan. No more probation, you understand? No more probation, you understand?